Okay. Now, Islam as our speaker today, uh, and uh, this is the 50th uh, colloquium of the newly established uh, School of Astrophysics at Presidency University. The first colloquium was on uh, July, July 2022 by one of our uh, by one of our physics uh, alumni and. Even in the 50th colloquium, we now have another physics alumni. Uh, so Nazma did uh, her BSc from Residency Physics, uh, finished in 2008, and then uh, went to IIT Kharagpur for uh, her master's. So we often have uh, speakers who are alumni of Residency, but uh, Nazma uh, is special because Almost every institution where Nazma has been to, there is some connection with presidency, physics, and astrophysics. So, uh, Kharagpur, of course, uh, I mean, uh, uh, one of our previous colleagues, uh, Kanan Dalatta, he did his PhD from uh, Kharagpur, and our colleague, Dr. Ratna Kolej, he did her PhD from Kharagpur. And, uh, you know, I mean, Kharagpur is yeah. <laughs> And then, and Asma went to uh, Raman Research Institute in Bengaluru and uh, did her PhD uh, with uh, Professor Vishwajit Pal. Uh, and I'll come to Vishwajit that later. And then after finishing uh, her PhD, um, she went to uh, Nicholas Copernicus Astronomical Center in Warsaw, Poland for the first postdoc. And there we have one of our uh, presidency physics Slash astrophysics alumnus who just finished his PhD from there and now has moved on to a visiting sort of postdoc position. Also, did his uh, MSc 23 project with uh, Professor Indri Chattopadhyaya. He is the one who uh, went to uh, Poland. And then, after Poland, uh, Nazma went to uh, Center for Astrophysics uh, at uh, Harvard Smithsonian Institute in Boston. So, Boston. If you are an astronomer, uh, you are always close to Boston, okay. even if you have never been to, because uh, you know Harvard and MIT and uh, the, those are there, and so Boston there are a lot of astronomers are there. So you know, you always, uh, and also CFA is uh, you know one of the largest sort of cluster yeah. of astronomers. And the story about CFA is you go to a conference and you. See someone's talk and go and meet him, meet him or her, and say that, oh, nice talk. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from CFA. Oh, I'm from there too. Nice to meet you. So you meet meet other people because it's so so large. So you meet other people from your next door office in, in a conference. So after CFA, uh, Nazma went to uh, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center for the next postdoc. And so that's in Greenbelt, which is in the Baltimore area in Maryland. And we're just discussing that there are about five, six presidency physics, astrophysics alumni who are hovering in the Baltimore area now doing various things. Uh, so there is just too many connections. It's, it's, a, it's a wonder that Nazma, it's the first time she is giving the talk. This should have, been, uh, this should have happened earlier. And, uh, and as you know, Nazma's uh, PhD advisor, Professor Vishwajit Pal, is the principal investigator of uh, the Polix instrument on board ExpoSat. Uh, where is our budding astronomers? Okay, I see them. Okay. Uh, uh, what about you guys? So, any of the first years know what is ExpoSat? No? You know what is ExpoSat? <laughs> you expect okay. to play that? Okay. So, <laughs> Not so, <laughs> not so today is the day you learned that the ExpoSat is a, a space telescope that was launched by ISRO on January 1st of this year. And one of the instruments on board ExpoSat is called Polix. So it will measure extra polarization of bright astronomical sources. It's a very big thing because Measuring polarization of X rays, measuring polarization of optical, radio, etc., is relatively easier and have happened before. Uh, but measuring polarization of X rays is very difficult. Uh, and so, Polix is only the second instrument in, you know, you know, active instruments in the history of world astronomy that is measuring X ray polarization from astronomical sources. The first one 
was uh, launched by NASA only in three years ago. So it's not that long that it has been uh, uh, you know, launched. So that's a very big achievement. And uh, and Professor Vishwanit Pal is, is the PI of one of the instruments. And uh, so, and he is one of the rare astronomers who delve into building instruments. Because as you know, in India, we are now involved in so many international observing projects, national large projects, that not only just using data from instruments, but actually building instruments has become very important, uh, you know, uh, in sort of mandate for the Indian astronomy community. And Vishwanita is one of the people who are doing this for a long time. So, uh, so Nazma being the PhD student of Vishwanita, we'll hear some things about that. Um, so with, with I, I think I'm taking too long. So let's, uh, let's uh, hear from Nazma. Uh, thank you very much, Vrita uh, Banda, for uh, the, for or organizing this talk. And like he mentioned, I am an alumni of the Department of Physics Presidency. Um, at the time, it was a Presidency College. We were under Calcutta University. And I can't describe the pleasure that gives me then when I'm on the other side talking about what I've done since I finished my uh, my master my bachelor's year. So, uh, like Vitoanda said, I am uh, currently at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center and at University of Maryland, Baltimore County. I'm currently an assistant research scientist there. And in this talk, what I'll try to give, put together, like, um, what I'll try to highlight some of the works that I have been doing along with various groups that I've been involved in, in trying to understand what is the, what is the uh, connection between the hot universe and the energetic universe. Just click on it once. Okay. Yes. So what do I mean by hot universe? So hot universe, by this I mean the hot gas that is trapped inside the cluster of galaxies and in galaxies. So for example, in this picture here, you see the optical picture of a, how the Virgo cluster looks. So Virgo cluster is a cluster which is adjacent to the local group of galaxies, which is where Milky Way resides. And if you look at the optical picture, what you see is... All of these are field galaxies. All of these are galaxies. And then you see uh, in between the galaxy, nothingness. Okay. So this is an optical. But you, if you shine, if you uh, image them in X-rays or you detect X-rays from them, what you see is the seemingly nothingness between the galaxies is actually full of hot gas. What I mean by hot gas is these are this is gas which has been heated to about a million Kelvin or more. So that's why it's output in x-rays. And what it also shows is that this hot gas 